I didn't expect it to go like this. <laughs> oh, buddy. Good morning, friends. Very early morning, friends. <laughs> I am Brenda Nate, and your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. I've got some goodies that I uh, want to make a little use of. We'll uh, throw some Molotov cocktails into a house because I remembered that that is a thing that I wanted to do. Uh, I'm also thinking about combining it with a smoke bomb so I don't have to worry about zombies biting the shit out of me. But uh, I think I think it'll be okay, maybe, probably. I also want to uh, move these things. I think let's let's do a little swip swap. How about? We'll put all this shit on uh, the manly shelf where the paint and the paintbrushes are. It's going to be useful at some point, I assume, but uh, not at the moment. I'll place this fishing net trap as well. That's a good idea. And I could make another fishing net trap, but I won't quite yet. I should keep a reserve uh, for when the traps break and such. I think that's a rather good idea. So here we go, a little bit of thread, a little bit of twine, some wires. Do I have my lighter? Hmm. Surely I didn't put my lighter away. Yes, it is here. Wonderful. Uh, I've been recording a bit of Skyrim, so I apologize if I slip into the Brandar voice. Uh, let's place the fishing net. Probably needs to be in the main inventory first. Herder. Der her her. I'm gonna put it here. So we get five all in a row. Alright, so it's super early. Um, I've only got one plan so far today. Well, aside from looking for more toys. Expanding the tea party. We should get some more pallets and shit like that too. I don't really uh, have a desperate need of anything at the moment. So we're just, we're just out here for the funsies. Oh, there's a dollar bill. Put it in the bag. Hey, I want my dollar. Give me a dollar. I need it. I don't pick up change because what you think I'm you think I'm fucking broke or something? Huh? I'm not. I'm rich in resources. It's wonderful. What a life I lead. Well, I think this was the house maybe? No. They've all broken out of this house. Hmm. Where was that containment unit? Well, if ever we find one, I've got some Molotovs at the ready. Probably I'll end up destroying some uh, goods in the process, but that's that's okay. It happens from time to time. Hmm. Thinking about picking up that handgun, but handguns usually don't do me no good. I gotta get my accuracy up a little higher. I will say this about the... Uh, the new seeing the tops of buildings thing. It's very fucking scary. <clears throat> Zombies pop out from behind the tops of buildings all the time. And I don't much understand that. I guess all the zombies broke out of that building because of my uh, shotgun spree that went on down, the, down here. Let's see what you got. Earbuds? I don't want none of that. Dollar bill? Yeah, you give me that. Energy drink. We'll probably need this a little bit later in the day. It's gonna be a long episode because I woke up nice and early. And uh, I'll scrub through these corpses real quick. to see if I can find anything that might be of use. Pen. I could make some notes. I could write down some notes. There's a saw. Antidepressants, maybe. Dollar bill. Hell yeah. I got another dollar. <laughs> another day, another dollar. Actually, a lot of dollars. So many dollars. Ooh. And I eat some chips for breakfast. So nice that the zombies brought me some chips. I, I should thank you. Not by bashing your brain in or nothing, but uh, by just saying thank you. Thank you, you dirty, stinking, rotten corpse. You're welcome. Oh, who said that? I think you gotta, like, bash them back to death. Bash them back to death again. Oh, there's a little money. I really don't know why I'm collecting the money. I guess to see how much money I can make in Project Zomboid. There's a little bit of soup. Super good food. Calm alone, don't want no Caprude virus in his soup. <laughs> oh, she's got some soup too. Dang. 
They all were stocked, weren't you? That's quite nice. And uh, here's the zombie bitch banging on the door. That's not your house. You stay away from that house. I'm really sad that you can't make Molotovs out of um, just gasoline or some shit like that. Maybe in a future update. For now, I gotta save all my whiskey bottles. I'm sure I've probably drank one. <clears throat> At least one. Probably more than that. And for now, I'll just uh, try and level up my, my blunt accuracy. More and more. The more I level it up, the more I brain zombies that are standing, uh, standing around. I don't have to knock them on the floor. Ooh. This seems like a, a scary house. It's kind of been broken into already. Hmm. I guess they're all upstairs. All the zombies that were downstairs seem to have uh, found their way out. Which is fine. I don't mind that. It's gonna make the uh, entry point quite easy. But I need to be uh, exceedingly careful. I can't equip the Molotov just yet. First, remove the glass. Then, climb through the window. Alright. I'm so scared. Alright, we're fine. We're gonna do great things. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, Lord. That is a, a terrifying thing. Ah. <sighs> how do I- how do I do this? How is it possible? Well, they're all concentrated on that door, so I'm just gonna gonna see if I can do it. It is really fucking close range, though, which is the the part that makes me nervous. So this guy's dead. I can hang out near him for just a second. All right, we got some lighter. We got some Molotov. Secondary, primary. Okay. Movement speed compromised because I got a bunch of shit in my doctor's bag. But I don't want to leave it on the floor for fear of it uh, getting burned up. So here we go. I'll just assume that's going well. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs> you dirty fuckers. Alright. So now I just uh, kick back and kind of watch the show. Watch the show! Hooray! Oh, look at it. It's spreading. It's spreading all right. I probably should have uh, taken a look in the house, but it might be a little too late to do so now. Nah, it's never too late. We're good. They're all upstairs burning away. My character a little bit panicked, probably for good reasons. There's a lot of canned goodies. I'm panicking just a little bit. Okay. There's uh, a couple shelves full of canned goods. So I want to at least swoop these. At the very least. God. Oh god. They're climbing inside. Okay. Don't look over here. Don't look over here. It's fine. I'm gonna swoop this and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. This is not a good place to be. Okay. Alright, uh, get around the fire, out the window, oh god, Jesus fuck, Ugh. what a brave, brave man I am, <laughs> oh god, I don't think I'm going to be using this other Molotov today, not quite yet, look at this zombie all burning up, what are you doing, what do you think you're doing? Just make sure they don't go near another house or something. She is spreading the fire. There you go. Just lay down. That's nice. And, uh, I don't think that's gonna clear the zombies out as effectively as I had hoped. They're spreading the fire really good in there. I think this house is a lost cause. Maybe this garage, too. I should at least loot the uh, surrounding houses. See if I can get a little something at least. Yeah, see? These fishing net traps? 
I wouldn't have known that they were gone, but I would have missed them sorely. Hmm. What do I have that I can transfer? That. Oh god. Fuck. Uh, maybe it was a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We're fine. We're good. Alright, get through this window again. I shouldn't have brought my shovel with me. That was a weird thing to drag along. I guess I forgot it was in my inventory. I was just so eager to get started, you see? A bit of twine. A little bit of sodi pop. Hmm, fire spreading this way. Oh god, this house is gonna light on fire too. Oh shit. I may have done a stupid, I may have done a bad. Hmm. I made some bad decisions, but it's the best I ever had. Now this is all full. Oh god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> My character changing the stance animations <laughs> fucking freaked me out. Okay, we're fine. I thought it was a zombie. I thought I was a zombie. Dayton, you are the demons. Yes, yes I am. There's a mop. Do we need a mop? I know sugar's a thing that we use relatively often. There's some vodka. Trail mix. Mmm, I eat this right now. Dry pasta. We could try making some pasta. That might be fun. I'll put my chef hat on. Chef Excellence. That's what they call me. Nobody calls me that. Alright, so uh, I'm pretty overweighted. Is this still burning out here? <gasps> God damn it. I meant to open the door, not climb through the window. You dirty shit. Alright. That's fine. We'll get that first aid up. I read a first aid book. I know what I'm doing now. Adhesive bandages. Give me this. Left forearm. Yep, that's what happens. Stick your forearm on a fucking broken glass window to jump out. Ah, I'm in a little bit of pain. But at least I can still run. The fire is burning steadily in that house. Yeah, it's basically consumed everything. Jeez. I didn't expect it to go like this. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, friend. Yep. Good thing I looted a little bit. Cause this shit is done. Done as fuck. At least it sounds like all the zombies are dead. So, uh, mission accomplished, I say. Hooray. Oh, and equipping the first aid takes, uh... Takes the bat out of my hand, which I don't think was a thing before. So that is good to note. Everybody please note this. Hmm. I do want to go home and drop a bunch of shit off. Hey, there's another burned out house. So next, so close to the other one. Hmm. I feel like I would have noticed this before if it were burnt out. Oh, there's lots of goodies in here. Plenty of goodies! Yes! Some vodka? Mmm. Gotta keep that shit in the freezer, son! It's so delicious! It's also so heavy. That's a lot of vodka. Don't mind if I do. Well, it's not going anywhere. The zombies aren't interested in drinking. Because they're stupid. Oh, there's just a lamp sitting here? Okay, that's interesting. Half of a bed? I could sleep on the, the unburnt half if I were in need. Yeah, there's, there's not much left here. A cracked, smoke-covered mirror. Alright, I guess that's it. I guess I'll see you in hell. Hmm. Yeah, I think this burnt down... <laughs> I mean, I definitely was not the one who burnt it down. But, uh, I've explored these garages before. I presume. It's hard to tell. 
Yeah. Doesn't have anything of use in here. Oh, there's some wire, though. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. It's a hard call to make. Oh, God. You fucking sneaky bastard. Do not. You hear me? I said do not. Maybe I haven't explored these. Hmm. I would have found the wire, I would think. I would remove the broken glass. Or maybe the window was, like, uh, closed. Presumably I left it closed and then the zombie broke through. To get inside. Does that make sense? Everybody, everybody tracking on that? Now I don't have any room left in my bag for money. My bags are so full. Shit. A little bit of twine? Anybody? Let's put it in my inventory. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. Let's see the progress of that fire. Another one for the fire! Well, it looks like it's out now. So I can go have a little expedition. That's what we do. Yep, stove and everything all burnt up. Jesus. Jesus, please! Us. That's kind of the nice thing about burnt houses. Oh, this was safe. The bungee cord and the cane. Grandpa's gonna be so happy. The nice thing about fires is you can jump through a, a bunch of different windows. Don't need to open shit no more. <laughs> and uh, I assume there's not gonna be any zombies left up here. Yep, took care of that pretty good, huh? <laughs> Excellent. Not the most efficient way, but it's pretty fun. They broke down this door. Here's some canned goods. Doorknob and a plank. I think door hinges is what I was lacking. I'm gonna grab all this. It's probably gonna load me down pretty good, though. That's okay. Very heavy load. Well, I can still handle that. It's not a back-breaking load, now is it? There was some stuff that survived up here. But none of that some stuff was zombies. So good. Mission accomplished, gentlemen. Although I can't really uh, seem to find my way out of here. How did I come up? How do I get down? Gotta get up to get down. I hear some more banging zombies somewhere. Maybe it's just in the soundtrack of... <laughs> I'm not sure. Alright. House burnt. Not the same house, I don't think. The one I was looking at was a one-story. But if I find that, I'll fucking burn it to the ground too. I don't care. It seems like enough stuff survives. How much stuff do you really need? Let's be honest here. Um... Somewhere I'll find my fishing shack, I'm sure. I just need to find the river, and then you follow the river down. Or is it a lake? I'm pretty sure it's a lake. If it was a river, you'd generally be able to see the other side. I can zoom out pretty far, you know? But it seems just like water as far as the eye can see. Wow, oh, there's a lot of zombies hiding in these woods. Mmm. That's what happens when you leave places unexplored. They just populate. Populate and populate. And copulate and copulate. <laughs> that means like having six. I don't think zombies do that. I think zombies can only make more zombies by biting living people. And since I'm the only living person left that I know of, they shouldn't be able to reproduce, right? I guess, I guess there's a, a flaw in that logic somewhere. Because they're definitely doing it. They're doing it! Hey, stuffed animal friends! Part of me says to light them on fire too, but I'm not that cruel. I won't do that. Let's look at the zucchines. Well watered. Young zucchini. Yes! I grow the zucchinis so good, don't I? Answer? Yes! <laughs> Alright, get up in the top here. 
Should really figure out how to put a fucking roof on this thing. Oh my god. My shelves are all packed. I'm gonna have to make some more, uh... Some more space. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, there's probably enough to put all this stuff at least. We'll do it little sections at a time. One at a time? No. Way too slow. Little pieces at a time? Okay, I can handle that. Put my shovel here. Hopefully I'll be able to find it again. I'm not extremely hopeful about that, though. Um, okay, that empties out the inventory pretty good. These are light enough. Fishing net traps. I'm going to keep that uh, downstairs, I suppose. Painkillers. Mm, I should take some of these. Little bottle of pop. What a random assortment of shit I have on this shelf. This is a lot of stuff on this shelf. I don't really need the trowel either. Trowel and twine can go. Duct tape, box of nails. Did I bring this box of nails for something? Or did I just loot it somewhere? Hard call to make. I'm not too sure. Well, I got enough nails, I'm sure. Oh, that shelf is packed full. Son of a bitch! I'm not gonna be able to fit all this stuff. And now it's raining. And since my upper floor doesn't have a roof, it's gonna be raining on my head. Raindrops keep falling on my head. But that doesn't mean there's something, something turning red. Hmm. Yeah, these shelves are just so full. I don't know how I'm gonna fit more things. How can I put more things? There's a uh, space for a little something. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit all this shit on the shelf. Mmm, these cans. They're pretty heavy. Pretty heavy! Filled up my bag super fast with them. Got chips. Put chips in there. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna need, uh, some more storage space here. That's okay. I can do that. I'm through this. Oh god. Get a little dry? Sounds good to me. Hmm. Where is my rain poncho? Where did I put you? Here. Just there, gentle sir. Alright. Let's get this axe. Actually, I don't even know if I need the axe. I've probably got plenty of planks sitting around. Enough that I can build a shelf, I think. Hmm, double shelves. Yeah, only two planks. It has to go on the wall. <clears throat> hmm, five planks for the bookcase. Which is what I think I have upstairs. I think the bookcase is more efficient. Because you got, like, uh, two storage spaces in one. Double shelf. I think the double shelf only acts as one shelf, though. It seems like that. It, is the single shelf just, like, half capacity or something like that? I don't quite understand. Let's have a little rest in the chair. Wait for the rain to, to kick off. And also get rid of my exertion. It is only moderate, but I needn't uh, exert myself further, you see. Did I have an energy drink somewhere? I'm sure I did. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Energy! I'm energized as fuck! Yes! Uh, here's a couple planks. Stick them in the bag. We got room. A little bit, at least. Hmm, maybe I should just carry these logs. If I carry the logs over, then I'll have, uh... Two and eight is ten, so that's enough to, uh, build at least two of those bookcases. 
Extremely heavy load. Movement is compromised. It's okay. I've only got to walk like 10 feet. Just chill out. Everything's fine. So much stuff blocking my view now. It's okay. We're doing great. We're doing great things here, little Dayton. I don't know if you realize how important what you're doing is to the world. Uh, here's a couple planks. Did the planks go on the floor or in my inventory? Hmm, I guess they're in the inventory. Oh, it's only fucking three planks per log. That seems like a waste, man. I don't know. I ain't no like lumberjack or whatever, but I think there's there's a hole in your logic or something. Whatever. Whatever I say. Let's make a bookcase. At least one bookcase. Can it go here? Sure. Sure it can. Put it on either side of the chair. Because that's convenient. I need one more plank. I think I saw one outside. And it is raining heavy. Typhoons are coming. Don't you know? The typhoon? It's a coming. I think it's here, bro. <laughs> yep, it's a coming. No, here is different than coming. Oh, I'm coming right here. <laughs> Let's see, small bookcase. Fuck, I need the. One more plank? What? I thought I saw two in the pile. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Oh, wow. I have a shit ton out here. Ten planks ready to go. Thank you. How convenient. And the rain has stopped as well. Didn't mean to close that door. That's how I end up cutting myself. You see? Crawling in my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. Okay. I got another bookcase that I could fill up with shit. Really, uh, yeah, I should find a way to organize this. <sighs> but I don't really want to. <laughs> you want me to be completely honest? That's, that's not something that, that interests me particularly. Why would you want to spend uh, an episode sorting from your bookcases? Especially when they're on separate levels, bro. You know how hard it is to climb up and down a sheet rope? You probably don't. Unless you've done it. I haven't done it. I imagine that shit is difficult. <laughs> I also want to build uh, some additional shelves so I can pile up my dollars. Because this probably takes up a lot of weight. It's like, yeah... Not, not too much, I guess, but when they accumulate like that, you see? Now why does a dollar weigh a tenth what a bandage weighs? That's not true. That ain't true. I guess because it's just trash from your inventory. They're like, if you want to pick up the dollars, that's fine. It doesn't weigh anything. Alright. I'm going to stash these fishing net traps. Yeah. Shelves got a lot of space, huh? That's pretty nice, isn't it? How much is it to make them double shelves? Double shelves that must stack with dollars. Only two planks? Fucking hey. You got yourself a deal, Skippy. Hmm. I'll be down to seven, but there is a log here I could cut up. I also got that other fucking stack of logs that's waiting to be used. Yeah, lumber's just, just real nice. If you need it, it's here. I'm gonna stick it on the outside, actually. That would be fun. Um, let's do it down here. Here, here. Yeah. Put it near the farming thing. Because if we're good at farming, we can make a lot of money. Oh, that's cool. It's got like a little indent. A little indented space. Can I can I put it over there? Like right here in front of me? Sure can. This is my hidey hole. <laughs> my hidey hole! I'm going to put so much money here. 
Look at that. Super. Oh god. My mouse is freaking out. I think there's a, a little bit of static electricity built up in there. Which happens from time to time. Where is it going? On the floor. Awesome. I didn't need shelves for this at all. There you go. Put all the monies. And it looks like books. But that's because I hid all of my money inside books. So the, the bad people won't get it. The bad people are gonna come and try to take your money. Don't you know that? Hmm. I seem to be a little overweighted still. What am I holding on to that I don't need? Axe, MRE, Molotov, painkillers. I need these painkillers. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm so thirsty for painkillers. Alright, let me see. Dirty bandage. Yep. We gotta change this out. And I took some painkillers, so I should, like, not feel anything as I do this, right? Oh, gotta do it here. Bottle of disinfectant. There we go. Didn't even feel it. I'm so fucking zonked, bro. Freaked me out for just a second. The music did, and then also because it said scratched. But I guess I did get scratched by a fucking window. That counts. It's, it's, it's the same. Uh, I'll put another axe here. Whatever. Sure. That sounds good. I don't care. Baseball bat. I got my doctor's bag already. I guess I'll stick my Molotov there. And the lighter. It's got so much remaining in it. I'm sure it will come in handy at some point. Hmm. You nails. I can stack them up. I could even box them, I think. Nope. Not quite yet. My brain, it don't brain so good sometime. Mmm, fishing rod, you can stay here too. I'm trying to offload. I'm trying to consolidate, can't you see? Sunflower seeds, don't know if I need. Screwdriver, maybe. I want to play like electrician or something like that. MRE. Hmm. Put my dirty sweater back on. Put my rain poncho back in a bag. Yeah, I'm still still holding a lot of weight. More weight than I would have thought. Wheel. Maybe it's that. It's so hard. It's so hard to get the weight down. There's so much shit that I need. Kitchen knife? I, I don't know if I need it. It's really not that much, uh, that much weight. I don't know. I guess everything's fine. I'll carry around five pounds of crap with me. That seems okay. Oh, I'm also getting a little tired. Well, shit. I'm just gonna head over to the restaurant base. Gotta clear the roads. Clear the roads! Make myself feel productive by doing at least one chore a day. That's how I try to live my life, you see? If you're just sitting around playing with your wiener all day every day, you ain't gonna feel productive. You ain't gonna be happy. You always want to lead a happy slash productive life. And that's our goal around here. Sometimes being productive just means... Oh god, rain again. <laughs> Sometimes being productive means rain again. Yep. You gotta find something to do inside. That is a good time to play with yourself. <laughs> if you were so inclined. Oh, I haven't explored hardly any of these places. Maybe I'll check out the dentistry. There's also a bookshop. Hmm. Bookshop might be nice. Alright. You got some medical whatnots here? Hell yeah, they do. Dang. Bunch of pain pills, tweezers, gauze. This is a good place. This is a good place, and I didn't check it. Medical box. Its capacity is only 8, but its weight reduction is 60. Oh, doctor's bag is better. Why is that? I, I would think a box would be, like, bigger, you know? Whatever. It's fine. I'm not gonna nitpick. 
bone saw. Oh shit. What is that for? Well, not much that I need here. I was hoping for uh, water purification tablets. But I'm not sure exactly what place I need to search in order to find those. Oh, here's a problem. Blocked off by a fucking building. So I can't see what the shit is going on. Um, okay. We good? Okay, here's a little bit more. A little bit more. I'm gonna move this so I can move all of this shit. That's gonna be a good idea so I don't have to come back in this fucking room where I don't know, uh. where I don't know what's going on. Basically. If I had an extra plank on me, I would nail the fucking door shut. So next time I come in here, I would not be able to do anything. Oh my god. Can we, can we just highlight this? Please? I guess that's a more efficient way to do it. <laughs> uh, shift click! Stop, stop dragging your mouse like a noob! What the fuck is that? Who does that anymore? It's the current year! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes it is. <laughs> it is the current year, isn't it? Alright. It's a good amount of shit. Shut it off. There's probably going to be some uh, some blockage in this room as well. I am so glad there's not a zombie in here. I would be fucked. Absolutely fucked. I don't know what's going on. It's because this uh, current building is not the highlighted building. Quote unquote. That's how it works. If you are uh, focused at a building, you'd be able to see it in the windows and shit like that. Otherwise, you can see the top of the building, which uh, is a nice thing, I guess. But kind of a pain in the ass when the buildings are this close together, isn't it? That's what I'm finding. Hmm. Might need to rethink this one. Just a little bit, huh? Maybe? You wanna? Alright, just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there, if that's something you want to do, that's totally cool. If not, well, that's not as cool. <laughs> but still, I accept it. I'm going to bring these bandages, too. I want these. Stack all the vitamins up, grab these bandages. We're going to get the fuck out of here. I'm getting tired. I'm getting super tired of this fucking place. Oh my. There's a lot of shit back there, I'm sure. Did I miss this door? How did I miss this? Huh. Well. Goodness me. I'll take these nails. Why the fuck not? Then you put them in a box. Because, uh, we weren't staying up quite late enough yet. I want to put these nails in a box first. And jar with lid. Once those zucchinis come, uh, come a sprouting, then we gonna preserve a bunch of them. I get a bunch of jars with lids, you see. All right, that took a long ass time. <laughs> Here's my box of nails. Wonderful. Did I get my jar with lid? Yes, I did. Okay. This was a good place to search. I don't know why I didn't think to search it earlier. I guess I wasn't really looking at what the uh. The sign said what the signs implied. Dennis' office just screams, Hey, there's some medical supplies in here. And I'm like, Hey, I want a piece of that. Give me some of that shit. Anyways, friends, sorry for the long episode. I do hope that you enjoyed regardless. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. That always helps. Yeah. Turn the lights on. <laughs> I don't want to live in the dark. I sleep with the lights on because I'm scared. Anyway. <coughs> oh my god. Anyways. Wow. Where'd that come from? I'm going to get some water before I continue to the next episode. Ah, I hope that you've enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe once more. That's very important. Helps the channel to get out there, etc, etc. And uh, I'm surprised we're still going on this Project Zomboid thing. Is it ever going to stop? I don't know. I hope not. Part of me part of me says yeah, that would be fine if it did. 
but uh, part of me wants to see how far we can push it. If we could get to a year, imagine 500 episodes of this shit. Who knows what could happen? Especially seeing the updates from the first episode until now is probably uh, going to be a pretty cool thing. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Once again, this has been Project Zomboid. I will see you then, a bit more hydrated. <laughs> and until then, bye bye one, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.